Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here. Time for your daily dose of Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. But before we get into today's battle, two quick announcements. Number one, there is an Alpha 4 in the works for this game. I don't know how far along it is or how soon we will have it, but they did post uh, a screenshot that I thought was pretty interesting. I'll show it for you here uh, on Twitter yesterday. And if you follow me on Twitter, click on the link, link in the description, uh, you'll be able to see. I'll retweet these things so that you can see them firsthand or just follow their account. But they posted this picture and asked folks to know what it was. And, uh, of course, many of us got it right away that it was the uh, HMS Hood. Uh, so there's obviously some more uh, buildable uh, hulls coming uh, that'll give us a little more customization, a little more ability to build historical ships. This looks beautiful and it was really easily recognizable as the hood as soon as they build it. So excited about that. Number two, I will be announcing the winner of our contest later today. So pay attention to the channel here. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you'll find out as soon as I upload the video announcing the winner. So when you think of World War II and you think of super battleships, uh, obviously certain things come to mind. Uh, and, and even just significant battleships, significant capital ships. You think of Japan, you think of the UK, you think of the United States, and you think of Germany. Uh, you know, ships like the Iowa, the Yamato, the Bismarck and the Tirpitz, the King George V, you know, some of these great capital ships of these fleets. You don't think of the Russian Empire. Obviously, there was no Russian Empire during World War II, but you don't think of the Soviets either. You don't think of them as the ones having these great battleships. So I think we need to change that. So we're going to do a two-on-two -two battleship duel with 1940 technology uh, between the Russians and the Empire of Japan. And we're going to definitely design our own ships and see what happens. Though I don't want to get too crazy and just make these things so overpowered. Uh, although it looks like Dreadnought 4 is the best we can do with our technology, which is certainly not a high-end battleship. So maybe we're just going to do the best we can with this. This is no 100,000-ton behemoth we're dealing with here. So what can we build? Obviously, we've got, we can go all the way up to main tower 12. So I think that's certainly what we're going to do in this case. Uh, I think we can probably move that up a little bit. Secondary tower, same thing. We can go with rear tower that has a barbette on it. Uh, what kind of main guns can we get? We can go all the way up to 18 inch. Those are Mark III's. And it doesn't seem like there's any reason not to in this case. What's the reload time? 83 seconds, 73 and 54. Um, what if we go down to, it's 83 seconds for triple 18s. Uh, 79, so there's not a lot of difference between the 18s and the 17s. Same with the 16s. So there's really no compelling reason not to go with 18s, except they won't fit on the barbettes. All right, that's a reason not to. Can 16s, no. We have to go all the way down to 15s, I think to get them to fit on these things. I don't even know if those will. So it's probably not a good reason to go with those towers because they're, they're kind of worthless as far as having those extra barbettes go. So let's go to tower 11. Just to give ourselves that extra space. We need the huge superimposed barbette, which we're gonna have to scooch stuff down in order to be able to use. There we go. So now we can get our 18s. Can we get another one in front of it? Uh, it doesn't look that way. And I'm not so sure that this ship can even be long enough. Man, the limitations are frustrating, but... Uh, understanding this is Russian technology and the Russians didn't necessarily have what the other nations had. Let's try going down to 16s. It's a little more reasonable anyway. There we go. We can get 16s. Can we get two on the rear? Yes. Alright, now we're talking. I don't like how that tower looks, but it's just kind of what we got to go with. 
mega funnel. Can we get two of them? Yes, we can. Obviously, don't need the range. I'd love to have a little more speed if that's possible. We can go all the way up to Krupp 4 armor. We're going to go with turtle back armor scheme. Definitely going to want super heavy shells on this one. High TNT. Oh, boy. I don't know. Um, I'm feeling like... I like the range, the velocity, and the minimum ammo detonation chance of the ballastites, but I'm not so sure if that's the way I want to go or not. I think we're going to give that a try. We may have to tweak and try a few different things, but that's where we're going to start. Electro hydro turrets, auto reload. Let's get some barbette protection. We're at, we've got tw room for 12,000. That'll change once we make our changes here. Get the oil. Um, balance boilers, yeah, we're, we're definitely still at 100% engine capacity. I wonder if we can go faster than 28 knots. I don't know, we've got a lot of room for armor right now. So that's the good news, and we're gonna need every bit of it against these ships we're going up against. Get 20 on the towers, 20 on the turrets. Don't need small uh, secondaries just because of what we're facing. And actually, that doesn't matter. Uh, probably want a little more deck armor if that's possible. We've still got a little bit of room. Let me make sure there's nothing else I want here. I don't think any of that's going to be particularly necessary. So maybe I go with a little more deck extended armor. We've got the shells that we want. Yep, okay. 17 inches of deck armor. How's that? Maybe, can we go 18? And we'll take the deck extended as high as we can go with it. All right, let's give that a try. I don't like the name. We got to do something with this name. Um, we're gonna just call it the Nicholas II. I like it, Nicholas II class. Here we go. All right, two v two battle, Russia versus Japan. We've got the Nicholas II and the Sevia Sevayatoy Sergi. Okay. Should be able to spot this guy pretty quickly. We're heading in the right direction. Tight formation. Just 16 inch guns, nothing else. I guess we did start at a pretty long distance. Okay, here we go. We've spotted her. Spotted them, I should say. Looks like we're firing at this one first. Ah, three turrets up front, tons of secondaries. Now you've got a nice tower and a nice modern battleship hull. A little jealous there, Japan. Let's see how we do at accuracy. What's our distance right now? 25 kilometers. And we've got about a 7% chance to hit right off the bat. hit the side look like yeah not hit the deck we got partial penetration let's see how we're headed right now let's go ahead and start turning to match 
so we can get our rear guns firing as well. There's a nice hit. Penetration, 101 damage. And now they're firing back. a big hit. I'm concerned about his level of accuracy versus mine. He's got 17s. One of my ships just changed targets. Yep, they're firing on the other one. Entirely sure why they do that. Oof. Well, we're landing some hits, just nothing major so far. A little concerned. He's got bigger guns and better accuracy. But that's to be expected from a Japanese battleship in 1940 versus a Russian. Now both of them are firing on the front one. Interesting how they decide to switch targets like that. Better accuracy now, we're at 10%. There's four hits, nothing major though, although we are making some headway on the damage. Seems like we've kind of caught up. I am curious just to see what an HE shell would do. It won't be this round, but the next set that comes in. These are still APs. Got one hit and one ricochet. Isn't that, that's just so cool to look at. Look at that hole right there too. We'll slow down to regular speed. Then they lower so they can reload. Here come the AP shells. None of them are going to hit. Ah, we got one. Not a lot of difference, really. We'll do one more salvo with those. And then probably switch back to AP. Oh, here it comes. The ominous look of the barrels raising.
coming in. Wow, overshooting big time. It's impossible to tell because I'm missing so badly. It doesn't seem like we're causing any more damage this way. He hasn't really hit me anymore either. I don't know what the Nicholas II is doing in that position. I thought they should be in line. destroyed. Didn't look like it fired. Come on, baby. Let's get some hits. Not having the advanced towers that he has definitely makes a difference. We're getting hits. They're just not, not causing a lot of damage. distance at now. About 18 and a half kilometers. Wish I knew what in the world Nicholas II is doing. They don't seem to just stay in the line. You know what though, we've caused more damage than we've taken. turning toward me now. That was a nice day. Oh, he's going to drop in line behind the other one. Be honest, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that one of these ships hasn't sunk sooner. Maybe I shouldn't be. Choyo and Uno. Come on, baby. None of these shells has caused significant damage in and of itself, but the cumulative effect does seem to be adding up. Down to 15 kilometers on distance now. I wonder if now is the time to try some HE shells. We're a little closer. Maybe we'll get better luck on penetration. I want to look at the... Uh, Oh, once we identify, we should be able to get those penetration stats. Seventy-five percent. All right, let's see what these things do. These AT shells from this distance. Well, they got hit first.
He's running. Nothing. Still nothing. Might have to go after the other one. There we go. That was a nice hit. 248. That's the best hit we've had so far. Alright, let's go ahead and switch to the Choyo for now. I think they're just dropping in, in line behind the Choyo. We're only 14 kilometers out. At this range, I would think I should get some pretty good penetration on these AGs. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, let's see what happens. Yeah, I think AG is probably the way to go right now. More bang for my buck. Nice. Now, once we get down a little further, we may have to switch to AP so we can actually sink them. Ooh, that was three big hits on Nicholas the second. So I'm getting big hits, but now they're getting big hits too. Now it starts to kind of become a slugfest. Twelve kilometers out. I might be getting too close, but accuracy is in his favor, so I guess the closer we get, the better for me. Ship. It's way back there. Anyo. I think we might need to get. Nah, I really want to concentrate my fire all on one ship to take it out. Reduce the number of guns he's got firing in half. Uh, now he's at an angle where they're just not landing. They're not penetrating. Might need to switch back. There we go. Beautiful hits. Those are APs. And they did nothing. Gee, it is. The angle's brutal for me right now. See how we're doing over here. Sviatoy Sergei. Give me a sinking. I guess I kind of did that backwards. I should have had him firing on them there. I've got them both down. I'm at 69% and 50%. He's at 37 
41 on the other, but only 30% float. Beautiful hits. Down to 24%. And 33. Only question, I think, is who's going to go first? Now we're getting really accurate hits. Fifty five per cent hit chance. Oh, lovely. Oh, that was a big hit. Oh, Nicholas the second's in trouble. All right, let's focus our fire on one ship. Try to finish it. Although Onyo might have been the better choice, but Choyo's closer. Come on, baby. Nicholas the second's in trouble. They're down to 21%. No, I don't want you to turn toward him. Lovely. Oh, Nicholas is second. This could be the end. Ooh. Wow. Can you get a kill shot before they do? Might need to switch to APs just because we're not getting those finishing shots that we need at this point. We need some AP maybe to cause some holes to sink this thing. Wow, those are bouncing off. There goes Nicholas II. Isn't it interesting that the armor piercing shells are the ones that are getting ricocheted? Well, they just can't penetrate the armor. At least the HE is exploding on impact. There we go. It's not having the desired effect, though. I still think we're better off with HE. Oh, this is this is rough now. One on two, and I've got two that are so close. Both of them. I just need that kill shot. We're firing on this guy. There's a nice hit. Either way, this would not have been a, a win, even if I win, if this was in a campaign. Man. 
Damage is hard to come by at this point. It's our distance. 14 kilometers still. That was a big hit. Still 11% though. Back to the APs, let's see what they do. Nice. I need more flooding, more flooding. Looks like we got another compartment flooded. Still need to get a couple more. My goodness. Battleships are hard to take down, especially 1940 technology. so I can use AP and just get, try to get a penetration ammo detonation. See, he's just bringing me down further and further, and I just cannot cause any more damage on these things. The way they're listing, I don't know how in the world they'd even be firing right now with any kind of accuracy. He's just getting more and more hits on me. 15 minutes since I stopped recording and we finally we're chasing him down now we've got it down to 14 kilometers and I've gotten him down to 2% structure I have just been hitting hit after hit after hit probably had 30 hits since I stopped recording and finally there's five but again didn't do much as far as damage goes we've got structurally down to 2% and the the other ships even further away from me so he's gonna even be more of a nightmare to try and take out but I think we can call this a victory regardless, even though I lost one of my ships. I'm about to sink one of his. AP shells just bounce right off. They're not even doing anything. We've got a structure under 1%. Really just got to find the, the spot that I haven't hit yet, I guess. structural they would have abandoned ship picked up their survivors and scuttled this thing by now in real life thirteen kilometers out so he can't get away from me There we go. 
Big hits. Can we get the other one, the Unyo? They are 21 kilometers out. It's gonna take a bit. All right, well, his speed's faster than mine. I can't keep up with him, so it looks like we're unfortunately gonna have to let that one get away. So in some sense, I guess it's really kind of a draw but we nearly sank both of those ships. So we're going to wrap it up right there. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what else you'd like to see me try out. And we'll try to do all of the ideas that you throw out there. Thanks for watching.